Hello everybody. Uh, so I just want to do this quick video. Uh, some of you may have noticed that I'm a bit thick around the waist. Okay, I am naturally quite thick around the waist. Even when I was about seven stone eight, uh, about 105 pounds, I still carried a little bit of fat around there. Um, even when I was three stone underweight, my abdominal muscles never really showed, to be honest. So I don't know what that's about. Uh, and my body fat was somewhere around about 8%. So they showed a little bit, but not a lot. Um, but I went to the hospital um, last year. I was getting pains in my stomach and it was really, really hurting a lot. So they'd done an examination on me and I noticed that when I laid down, I can't really sort of show you properly laying down with the camera, but we'll show you my stomach in a minute. But when I lay down, what happens is when I lay flat and go to get up, I'll get this lump, just sort of, say that's my stomach flat, this lump comes up like that. And then I lay down flat again, sit up, goes like that. And it's like, it looks like a sausage, like just sort of protruding from my stomach. Anyway, I thought I might have had a hernia, but it turns out it's called uh, diastasis erecti. Or if, or some people may, may pronounce it diastasis erecti. And what it is, is over time, my stomach, okay, used to be somewhere in there, tighter, okay? Now if you see this line here, I can get my hands right inside that, my fingers right inside that fold. What I've got there is quite common among bodybuilders. And what it is, the stomach muscles, so that's the stomach muscles knit together, okay, they're together properly. Over time, um, especially due to certain exercises, it begins to come apart. And then you have this gap in your stomach muscles. So my gap goes right down there and it's about, probably about an inch or two, maybe about an inch apart, something like that, a bit of fluff. Um, and it creates a bulging effect around here, okay? So, if I push my stomach right out, like that, it looks like I'm pregnant, but can you see the way that bulges out like that? So this is my stomach normally, okay? But if I push it out, it bulges out like that, which is pretty, <laughs> pretty grim. But that's due to, as I said, the stomach muscles coming apart. Now the exercises I suspect that caused that was possibly heavy squats, but definitely uh, tricep press downs. So I'd be on the cable machine and I'd be doing the uh, cable press downs as you do. And I noticed that my arms wouldn't get tied out. They, they would be able to deal with the, uh, the weight pretty, pretty easy. But what was happening was I was getting a lot of stress and strain on the stomach. And I remember saying to people, my arms are not giving out, my stomach's giving out. And I actually feel like I'm getting more of a stomach workout by doing this than doing the sit-ups and crunches. Um, so if I just turn this to the side a bit. Um, from the side point of view, when you're doing the tricep pushdowns, you're like this, yeah? So... What was happening was, I was keeping it as strict as possible, and as I pushed down, my stomach began to tense. And what happened over time was, it began to create a separation in the stomach muscles. Now, there's nothing I can do about that. This, this is, that's the end. Um, so I've got a gap about, if you'd see under the fat, it'd be about there. But what would happen is, if they, sewed me up and brought that in where it should be which is about there somewhere then it would probably take a good two or three inches off my waist so my waist is 36 and a half to 37 um, my stomach is 38 and my chest is a 47 okay and my arms at the moment they're between 15 and 15 and a half. On a good day, there'll be about 15 and three quarters on a pump. 
Um, so yeah, erecti, diastasis, diastasis. If any of you have got that, if, if you've noticed that your stomach muscles are starting to come apart, you can have an operation, but what they do is they cut you open and they put this net thing inside, brings it together. But they don't tend to do operations on it because um, it's not something that's going to affect your health. It's completely cosmetic. It's just, I'm going to have a bloaty look all the time. I'm always going to have my stomach bulging out, okay, whether I like it or not, because of the separation. And you may notice on some bodybuilders when, they, when they're doing their ab poses, some of them have got their abs quite close together like that. Others, they've got a gap. You know, I think Ronnie Coleman, uh, for example, he's got a slight, so almost like a oblongish sort of separation between the stomach muscles. And that's where his stomach muscles have come apart from using really heavy muscles. So, yeah, I mean, when I take my body fat, this here, when I pinch it and use the skin fold calipers, it comes to about 10 centimetres which is, I think it's 2.5 centimetres to an inch. So it's about two inches. I've got about two inches of fat there. So I've got some to lose. Um, and as I carry on doing my exercises, because it's really cold over here at the moment and it's winter, I tend to be a bit heavy this time of the year, sort of being off season basically. But I'm looking at when the summer comes up, being on my TRT, I'm expecting to lose a few pounds and be able to get my body fat down more around the stomach and so forth so yeah if if you've um if you've wondered what that separation is between people's stomach muscles or if you have that yourself then uh, i'll be interested in hearing from you about that okay well this is jason napalm uh, have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye bye